mind made up. My mind is made up. I don't care if I don't have but one hand. I'm going to try to clap my one hand. I wish I had some help. Try to clap one hand. Amen. That hand is going to be clapping. I'm going to be clapping for Jesus. Yes. Because he's the one that has blessed me all the days of my life. Yes. That's the thing that we don't understand about Jesus. When he comes, he blesses you every day of your life. Uh -huh. Every day. Amen. 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 And there are days in your life when you, when you have failed God. You failed him from morning to night. And then night came, you failed him all night. Till the next day, the next morning. Amen. But God didn't turn his love off. No, sir. Amen. Didn't he bless you to wake up the next morning? Amen. Didn't he bless you to get up Amen. after you woke up? Amen. Didn't somebody ought to help me? Amen. The Lord will make a way for it. God's love. It's never running short. Amen. 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 So when we come to church, we ought to have some praise Amen. for him. Amen. We ought to have some praise for our God. Because right. he has blessed me every day of my life. Amen. Amen. And if you believe what I say, if you are with me, then you ought to be able to tell somebody. somebody. Tell somebody Amen. that he has blessed me every day every of my day. life. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. The Lord. <clears throat> That's why I'm still here. That's why I'm still here. The Lord has blessed me. Every day of my life. He has warmed me up. Sometimes from a drunk of snow. been good to me. The Lord's been good. Oh, uh, Has he been good to you? Is he good to you right now? The Lord is good to me. Praise God. Yeah. Oh, I wish I could. I wish I could. I wish I could. I wish I could. I wish I could and convince you how good God has been. Yeah, I would like to roll the film back in my mind and let you see what God has done for me. Yeah. But then by the time I get back there so far, you start to take off running. Because you said, Lord, is that the preacher? Uh -huh. No, that ain't the preacher, but that's, 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 that's who he used to be. Uh -huh. And God has blessed me and made a way for me. Yeah. Amen. And I'm not in here by myself because I read my Bible. Yeah. The Bible says that all we like sheep yes. have gone astray. Yes. Everyone has turned to his own way. Oh, yeah. But God has laid on him the iniquity. Yes. That word in the ghetto language. <laughs> iniquity. Amen. That word means the mess. Uh -huh. yes. The mess of us all. Don't be calling me messy, Pastor. Don't be calling me. Yes, you are. <laughs> the iniquity of us all. So when I come to church, when I come to church, I'm thankful that the Lord has made a way. Yes, sir. And I'll never forget it, cannot forget it, will not forget it. And I'm going to talk to you this morning. I saw some of the kids coming out here uh, yesterday. And they were bringing, up, bringing them out, getting them ready to uh, sing again. Uh -huh. And uh, I can't wait till they sing. Uh -huh. I can't wait. I want you to gather. Say mothers, grandmothers, aunts, uncles, neighbors. Yes. Help those kids come on over here. Yes. Uh -huh. and, and, and what we're doing, we are getting ready to pass off the scene. Uh -huh. And the ones we bring in will carry on the work of the Lord. Amen. 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 
Yes, and it's got to be. Because the name of Jesus will be glorified. Yes. Amen. Amen. You look around at this church, you think somebody, all holy people built this church? No. No, no. Yeah, some of them were raised up off of couches. Right out here on this ground where, where this church sits. Raised up off of couches. Why no? Yes. Got changed over. Yes. Saved yes. by the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Alcoholics yes. were changed over. Yes. Oh yeah, but it took a while. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. You don't change overnight. Yes. You don't change overnight. Yes. When God comes into your life, you will start to change. Yes. I dare you to go get up cube of ice out of your refrigerator. Set it on the counter. Don't bother. Uh -huh. Oh, you say, well, ain't nothing happening to it. I can look. I'm still looking at it. it ain't. Yeah, but it's some heat going on in the room uh -huh. that your eyes cannot see, but that block of ice can feel it. Sometimes when you come to church, can't you feel the power of God? Yes. Can't you feel the power of God? Amen. You can't see his power, but you can feel it. Amen. God is a spirit. And you can feel his changing power. Amen. How do you know it? Because you start changing. Your thoughts start to change. Hallelujah. Your mind starts to reconsider Hallelujah. things that used to be yes. your enemy. You began to read and listen to what God has to say. God will change your life. God will change your whole life. And don't you know he will change you into a brand new being? Yes. Oh, yes, he will. Yes. He's getting you ready to leave this earth. Yes. And he's got to put the finishing touch on you. He's not just going to bring you out. Because he, he's got to put just like old pair of shoes. you got to put the wax on it. Put the polish on it. Oh, but it's going to take some rubbing to get that shine. Uh -huh. uh, I wish I had somebody there. See, I know young people don't know nothing about shoe polish. I know that. They don't know nothing about shoe polish. Their shoes get a little dusty. They throw them away. Say, I want some more. <laughs> I want some new shoes, mama. I want some shiny shoes. But the old timers that didn't have but made it one or two pack, they know how to reach for some shoe polish. And they know how to uh, put that polish on. And then let it sit a while. Yeah, and then you pull out an old rag or two and then start rubbing on it. And you got to rub on it till the shine starts lifting up. I wish I had some help. Amen. Amen. Somebody in here know something about putting on. Is there anybody? I, please help me. Is there anybody in here know anything at all about putting shoe polish on shoes? Oh, now don't y'all tell no story now. Amen. 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 They don't know nothing about the shoe polish. They don't know nothing about shoe polish. They just know about getting some another pair of shoes. But that's what happens with God. That's what happens when the Lord, he starts working on you. And then, I must not leave you right there. Because sometimes your faith starts to fail. Your faith gets weak when things don't go your way. And you've got to understand that the fight's not over when things don't go your way. You think that it's just God has abandoned you. But that's not the whole story. God uses everything to bring you into a better you. Yes. Amen. Romans 8, 28 says, All things work together for good for them that love the Lord. Uh -huh. So if you don't ever have a bad thing, then it can't work. Right. You'll be just like some of the kids that grow up and you can tell them, some kids will just spoil to death by the grandparents and the parents. Yeah. Yeah. And the grandparents and the parents. It's like grandparents, I ain't mad at you. Because I know what it's like to spoil them. Uh -huh. I know what it's like to spoil them. I know I spoil my grand, grandkids and all the friends. I spoil them all. Uh -huh. 
But I guarantee you one thing. They also know uh, how far to go. Right? Right. They know how far to go. Right. Granddad wears a belt, and I know how to use it. Right. Right. And them branches out there on the tree, I know where to go get one or two. Yeah, I do know. I ain't never used it but once or twice. But see, all it takes is for one kid to see another kid take a spanking. And he make up his mind, I don't want none of that. See, and then the parents here, they come talking about, well you, well, you didn't treat us like that. You didn't treat, no, I was your parent. I had a job. That's right. Now I'm a grandparent. Now it's your turn. That's right. See, now that's the way it is with God. After things start turning away, sickness comes. Unemployment comes. You can't find a job. Sometimes you can't find help when you need help. So then you start losing faith. I just came by to tell you this morning that you can't lose the faith in God. You can lose faith in the U.S. government. You can lose faith in the state of West Virginia government. Yes. You can lose faith in husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, dog, cat, and anything else. But you cannot lose faith in God. Amen. Because yeah. God is the one that's keeping your heart beating. Yeah. God is the one yeah. that's keeping your liver working. Yeah. All right. You have drank enough liquor to kill your liver. Yeah. Uh, don't be looking at me. Yeah, and you've had enough drugs in your body that it, your brain should not work. Uh -huh. But God. But God. But God. God has already got a plan for your life. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Let me take you to some scriptures here. <coughs> John knew that in the sight of God, he had done nothing wrong. You remember when John was the only one born among men who had a holy job before he was born. He was sent into the earth to be the forerunner of Jesus Christ. See, and even when John, who was in his mother's womb, when John met Jesus, who was in his mother's womb. Now here you got two babies, not yet born. Jesus being the savior of the world, he is in his mother's womb. She is visiting her cousin Elizabeth. But when they came into the room, John was in Elizabeth's belly. John began to jump and the scripture says the holy word of God says John was filled with the Holy Ghost uh -huh. but the Holy Ghost hadn't come yet oh, oh I wish I had some help <laughs> you cannot outthink God you just take what God says and believe it yeah. Because God knows this world inside and out, up and down. Uh -huh. He designed it. He made it. Yes. He put everything into existence. Yes. John knew that when he was working for the Lord, he had gone, he baptized Jesus in the river. And he told everybody, this is the one who came to save us from our sins. Now, John's out there working and the enemy hates John. So they lock him up and put him in jail. So they feed him old crusty bread. They feed him old stinky water. And he's been down there for months and months and months. Never getting any visitation from anybody. So his body is beginning to wear out. His mind is beginning to go down. He doesn't know, even know really what's going on in the world. And somebody came to see him and said, John, uh, what do you have to say about Jesus? He said, well, ask him, is he the one? Amen. 
Sometimes when you get weak in faith, you say things that are really not your holy self. You do things that are not your usual holy self. So John said, ask him, is he the one, or shall we look for another? Shall we look for another? John, somebody could say, oh, his life is over. Let's just discard him. But 